Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fat Man First Take, where I give you a first impression review of a product. This one is the La Sportiva Ultra Raptor. This one came in a wide, uh, which is good because I have a wider foot, so that, that was helpful for me. Um, first thing I want to talk about, I really like this boot. It's the mid-level, it's the mid-cut level, um, and it's got a really good, uh, there's flexibility, but there's also stiffness in the uh, heel or in the ankle right there, um, which gives a lot of support to the ankle when you're hiking. Um, the thing that I want to talk about, because we're having endless winter here in Colorado, is the waterproofing. These are a waterproof boot, and it's one of the best waterproofs um, that I've had so far. Uh, I've tried a lot of different boots on, and this one, uh, I mean, I've been through so much snow in this, and it's kept my foot completely dry every time. Um, it uses Gore-Tex in there, so it's lightweight, but it's still waterproof and does a really good job. Um, the other thing that's really nice about this boot is I really like the traction. Um, I've done, like I said, I've hiked in a ton of snow lately, and even in spots that I'd usually put on my micro spikes, uh, I've just been going with the boot because in the in like thin layers of snow that we're getting in the spring, um, these boots have really good traction and really good grip um, when you're going through through snow and some damp uh, trail. Um, you know, in mud, they, they slide just like everything else because mud is terrible. Um, and we're getting into mud season now. It goes from winter to mud. So um, anyway, so I really like that. The fit is really good for me. Like I said, it's the wide cut of this. And uh, I have a wider foot. So it's really hard for me to find uh, hiking boots that, that fit properly, especially um, finding a wide. Not every... Uh, brand offers a wide so getting a wide in the in the ultra raptor here uh, was really really important um, this is also like the second pair of La Sportivas that I've tried out and I really really just like the fit and, and the way they feel on my foot um, I, I get a lot of good miles into these I've hiked probably 10 times in this probably about 80 90 miles somewhere in that range 70 to 80 miles in that range um, and it's still holding up really well like I said, it's been through a lot of snow, a lot of mud, um, and it's still working really well. Um, there's been no degradation at all um, through those 10 hikes, which is good. Um, I always have to bring up something that I don't like, um, or it wouldn't be a fat man first take, but the heel capture, I think could be a little bit better. I feel that, especially like hiking uphill, um, I, you know, when I get into a, to an angle, you know, like this and, and my foot's doing a lot of, of angled hiking, I get a little bit of looseness in the heel there. So the heel capture could be a little bit better. Um, but otherwise it's a really good boot. It's a really solid, uh, boot. like I said, best waterproofing I've had so far and also a really good grip. So, uh, that's it. My full review will be on fat man little trail uh coming up soon uh and you can find all of my pro outdoor product reviews there uh if you like this video make sure you hit subscribe and like it from wherever you're watching uh so that we can get more people to see my outdoor product reviews and you can always see a lot more on the website at fatmanlittletrail.com uh, i hope to see you all on the trail really soon until then happy hiking